everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Liv and I make lots of healthy, delicious recipes on this channel. And today we are doing a healthy meal prep. So I show you guys how I prep about eight ingredients for the week and how I can combine them into easy, healthy meal ideas. I also created a PDF guide for you guys for this video, so if you head to the link in the description, you can download the full PDF guide and get this for you so you can meal prep this weekend and for weekends to come as well. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and yeah, let's go ahead and get into the healthy meal prep. So one of the first things we are meal prepping is my classic chia pudding. You guys have seen me make this before if you are OG members of my channel, but I love it and it's such a simple recipe. One can coconut milk, five tablespoons of chia seeds, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And what this does is it really helps to balance blood sugar because it's full of healthy fats and you can also add things like collagen or superfoods or cacao to make different flavors. So I like to make a bunch of this and then I store it in mason jars and this can be used for breakfast or for snack. You can have a smaller amount. I'm also gonna prep some sweet potato toasts, which are great to use, especially if you're gluten-free, as gluten-free breads can sometimes be expensive and sweet potatoes are fairly inexpensive. So I just slice them and then I bake them in the oven at 400 for 25 minutes. And these can be used for sweet, for savory, I even use two of them sometimes to kind of make a sandwich. I've also used them as burger buns. The possibilities are really endless, so this is a really great thing to prep in advance and have in the fridge. Another thing I like to prep are berries. Now I tend to buy my berries organic because they are part of the Dirty Dozen. Specifically, strawberries are one of the most heavily sprayed things. So if you can, buying these organic versus other fruits and vegetables are gonna be key. Now I do store them in a mason jar and I find that by storing my berries in a mason jar, they keep a lot longer. For example, I've kept berries for three weeks at like supreme freshness, like not moldy, not anything at all um, in a mason jar. Next up, we are going to prep some chicken. So I just have some chicken thighs, but you can do whatever kind of chicken you like. And I put a little bit of garlic, a little bit of paprika, really whatever seasonings you like. Um, keep it simple. I cook them for about three, four minutes per side until they're cooked all the way through and they're no longer pink. But I find having protein on hand is really good for making salads, stir fries, everything like that. I'm also going to prep some cucumber for smoothies. Now lately I have been into using cucumber um, into my smoothies instead of frozen cauliflower. I do remove the skins because it can sometimes be irritating if you have IBS. So I take the skins off, slice it up, and I put it in my stasher bag. And this is a great way to add hydration and kind of something cold to your smoothies, but it's better than ice because you're getting veggies in, but it's still super hydrating. I also like to wash my greens in advance so that they're ready to pull out and use for the week. So by washing them and drying them, they're all ready to go. You just can make quick salads and quick meals all throughout the week. Again, I do use a stasher bag, not sponsored, but they really do keep foods fresher longer. I'm also going to spiralize some zoodles or make some zoodles with some zucchini, which can be used in pasta and many different dishes. You can buy them spiralized, but I do find you can save money by doing it yourself. I'm also like to hard boil some eggs. So I do like a medium boil, which is about seven minutes, and then I put them in an ice bath. And what the ice bath does is it makes it not only stop cooking, but a lot easier to peel afterwards. So you don't lose half of the egg white. I'm also going to be prepping some cauliflower rice. And this is one of my favorite things to prep. And it, you guys have seen me make this in a lot of videos. And lately I've done cilantro and lime. If you watched my burrito bowl video, um, you guys know I'm obsessed with this. So I add in some chopped cilantro and some lime once the rice is tender, mix that up and that's ready to go for build your own burrito bowls. So I'm gonna be showing you some of the healthy meal ideas and the ways that I use this. So going back to the cucumber, I put in some frozen cucumber, some spinach or whatever greens I have on hand, some fresh mint, which I've been loving in my smoothies, especially with the warmer weather coming up. And then I add in some almond butter and some almond milk. So this is a really simple recipe, but you can add in your favorite superfoods or protein powder or collagen, but I wanted to show a very simple smoothie. Pop the lid on and we're good to go. 
Of course, sweet potato toes are one of my favorite and I'm taking some of the eggs that I have prepped. And as you can see, the shell glides off. I put on some avocado, sliced up my medium egg and put that on. And then I'm going to build a sweet one with some baru nut butter, which is like my new favorite thing. It's actually a seed, not a nut. Some of the strawberries that we have already have washed and cleaned. And now I have some delicious sweet potato toast. Chia pudding is another great thing for breakfast and for snacks. Since the chia pudding is ready to go, I just put that in a bowl, add some green free granola, some of the blueberries that are already washed and ready to go, and put that on top. The assembly took me really quick. Then I took some of the chicken, I took some zoodles, and I tossed that with some store-bought pesto. It's really easy, I had it on hand. And then we're going to assemble our burrito bowls for some nights of the week. So I'm taking the cauliflower rice that I made, adding in some of the chicken that's pre-cooked and the leftover veggies along with the already washed lettuce. But because everything was already done beforehand, all you have to do really is assemble and you have healthy, delicious meals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this meal prep. Don't forget to download your free PDF guide in the description box below. I'm also going to leave my meal prep playlist right here. You're going to love it. There's tons of ideas in there, both ones that are recipes for ready to go meals throughout the week and ones like this, which are prepping ingredients and then showing you how I combine them throughout the week. Um, so I'm going to leave that right here. Check it out after this video. Leave me any requests down below and let me know what you meal prep for the week. If you think I'm missing something or something that I should be meal prepping, I want to know. So leave that for me in a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.